For this section, let's look at how we can use planet topics to build a really cool interactive timeline. It's a great way to show the highlights of your career. For me, it's a short line, but it's a good one. So let's zoom into experience. And the first thing to do is maintain that visual consistency by having the title like we did on the overview. So we'll double click to edit, change this to experience, and we're going to make it bigger like we did before. And we're also going to make it blue so that it stands out. White and white is not the most visible look. I'm going to put it kind of over to the left for the moment. I can add the icon later to maintain that visual consistency. But for the moment, I'm just going to get rid of this text underneath. And now we've got the canvas to set up our timeline. Now, I want to add one topic for each of the three main jobs that I've held. To do that, go down to subtopic. And I'm adding stacks each time because I'm not going any deeper than my experience at that relevant job. So I'm going to do one, two, and then three stacks. OK, so the stacks are now arranged over to the right hand side. Uh, how many timelines do you know that go from top to bottom? Not many. Most of them go from left to right. So we need to adjust that. Knowing that this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one, Let's drag the top of this line over and to the left, about there will do, and the bottom of this line here and to the right. Try and keep that central dot around about the center of your screen. We can adjust it later, so don't get too worried now. Let's bring this line down, and it will just snap when it's flat. Boom, there you go. Like I said, we end up micro adjusting a little bit, so let's move that over to the left. OK, so we've got three transparent topics. We don't want them to be transparent. We want them to be visible. So let's take this first one and let's make it look great. I'm going to do that by changing it from this white to blue and turning up the opacity. OK, so that's clearly more visible. Let's add a border for a bit of flair. So we've already set that to white. Make sure the opacity on the border is turned up and just increase the thickness here. Just keep clicking until it's about what you want. That looks nice. Uh, we want the other two to look exactly like this one, so we're going to right click on this one, update style preset, and now we have three topics looking the way we want. I don't want to have text on these subtopics. I want to show the logos of the companies that I worked at. To do that, I'm just going to add the logo to the topic cover. So with my topic selected, go up to topic cover settings, custom, edit cover content, delete that text, make sure the line stays dashed, Go to Insert, Image, and I've got my Job Logos folder here. I'm going to add in Keytech, which was an agency I worked for in Seoul, and click Open. In it comes. Hmm, the logo was only available in this square, and it's in a circle. It's not the greatest look. You know what we can do? We can make that look great. And to do that, we're going to go up to Insert. We're going to select Shapes. We're going to bring in any circle, doesn't matter the color, just place it there. And the first thing we're going to do is just move it away from the logo, select the logo, right click, bring it to the front so it's in front of the circle, back to the circle, change the color to white. And because that white is the same color as the logo underneath, it's going to look like it was all part of the same thing. So we just position it. Drag it to make it a little bit bigger. Use the arrow keys to get it exactly where you want. You can also use the yellow snapping to get it just perfect. Isn't that fantastic? We're going to have to probably repeat this trick on the future ones. So with this selected, I'm just going to do a Command C. We want Command V yet. We'll use that later. OK, let's click away. That looks great. We can close the shape sidebar. And let's make it the same for the second and third one. So again, click that second one. Up to Topic Cover Settings, Custom, Edit Cover Content, Delete Key gets rid of the text. We're going to Command V, in comes the circle. Make it the same size as the other one. Doesn't have to be perfect. Center it. It's not quite there, just a little bit bigger. OK, that will do. Insert Image, bring in the Samsung logo, who I used to work for. Put that there, position it just so. It's also put itself in the center. 
click away to check how it looks. That looks great. And we just need to replicate it for the most important employer, Prezi. So custom, edit cover content, delete the text. Command V brings in our circle. Make it larger. Just position it. Looking good. Again, insert image. The final logo is there. Open, position that just where we want it, snapped into position, fantastic. OK, so while we've got three bubbles for each one of the jobs, it doesn't really look like a timeline, so let's just add a, a little bit of visual to make it do that. I'm going to position it slightly more in the center of my screen. And can you see, if I move my cursor there, I get this line. So at the moment, if I go to check the color of this line, I can see the opacity is turned down. So let's turn it up. Ooh, it's black. We don't want black. We want white, because that's the theme that we have going on. Click away. OK, now we've got a line. Let's move it a little bit to the left so it's not too far into this tree that we have on the right-hand side. Uh, just to make sure that everybody knows it's a timeline, let's put in some years at either end. To do that, I'm going to do insert text. Take this text here, change it to 2008, because this is when I started working at this job. I did have jobs before 2008, but I really don't want to talk about them. I'm going to make it larger, put it slightly to the left, double click it to make it bold. Great. Command C, Command V to duplicate it, and just move it over to the right and change 2008 to 2017. Great. Now to add some actual detail to one of these boxes. So let's start with my most important employer, Prezi. We'll zoom in on here. I'll change this text from double click to edit to my title, which, as we already know, is Head of Creative Services. OK, we've got that nice and big. Um, we'll put in the years, so that was 2012 until present day. I'm going to take that text, make the text box a little bit smaller, put it just underneath the title, and then to liven it up a little bit visually, because there's going to be quite a lot of text on this slide inevitably, because you have to tell people what you're doing, I'm going to insert just a simple line, so arrows and lines, and drag in this white one here, I can close the sidebar, and then I'm just going to position it underneath move it across here. It puts that nice little break inside my layout. Use the yellow snapping to get everything in position. And then you can put more text by insert and text, and then typing in all of the wonderful things that you did at this company. Obviously, you want to put in your actual roles and responsibilities, but I'm just putting in some text to show you what you can do for the moment. Great, let's go back to the experience section. There you have it, an interactive timeline of each of the jobs that you've worked at and what that really, really allows your employer or potential future employer to do is zoom into the experience that they think is the most relevant. Now we have our timeline, there's only one section left in our resume. For that, I'm going to tell you how you can take your tired, boring 2D photos and turn them into a zoomable gallery.